Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. In June we travelled to Europe to visit museums and other sites to model various items which were displayed at the Great Exhibition. The first of these items is found on the gallery level, just at the top of the stairs. This is a model of Gulliver in Lilliput by Adolf Fleischmann of Sonneberg Thuringen, Germany. The Lilliputians are beautifully detailed and our 3D model does not do them justice. This piece can now be seen in the wonderful Deutsche Spielzeugmuseum, German Toy Museum, in the beautiful town of Sonneberg. We are most grateful to Deutsche Spielzeugmuseum for allowing us to photograph this on one of their closed days, including removing it from its glass case. We now descend the stairs back to the ground floor, and turn east along the foreign nave to the section devoted to Italy. In the Tuscany section we find Bacchus by Lorenzo Nencini. This piece is now in Villa Vauban in Luxembourg City. Its present good condition is the result of complex restoration work, and the piece now occupies a position close to Villa Vauban's main entrance. We are most grateful to Villa Vauban for allowing us to photograph this on one of their closed days. Returning to the nave, and moving slightly east, we find Cupid and Psyche by Giovanni Maria Benzoni. The model is of the copy at Musée Marmiton Paris, and we are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph it. Turning back towards the centre of the nave, we can't help but notice the newly added billboard image of the colossal zinc statue of Queen Victoria by the Vile Montagna Zinc Mining Company. Continuing east passing the André Fountain and the Ducroquet organ, we find a billboard image of the colossal St. Michael overthrowing Satan by Jean Bernard Dusseigneur. And turning to face west, just behind the organ we find the city of Paris imploring God for the victims of cholera by Antoine E. Tex. This is outside the entrance of the chapel of the Salpetriere Paris, and we are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph it. Continuing east into the Belgium section we come to the equestrian statue of Goderoid de Bouillot by Eugène Simonis. A plaster copy was displayed at the Great Exhibition. This is a model of the original in Place Royale Brussels, and we are grateful to the Visit Brussels Film Commission for allowing us to photograph it. Five smaller pieces surround the equestrian statue. These have been added as billboard images until 3D models are available. On the south side are a pair, also by Eugene Simonis, on the left the unhappy child, and on the right the happy child. At the east end is Cupid in the Cradle by Charles Auguste Fraken. On the north side are the infant Moses by Leonard de Kuyper on the left, and Paul A. Virginie by Guillaume Geefs on the right. To the east of the equestrian statue is another piece by Charles Auguste Fraken, Cupid Captive. This model is a recreation by Thang Nguyen. Moving slightly southeast we come to another piece by Eugene Simonis, La Verité Chez Devoilent, in English, Truth. This model is of a slightly later copy now at Musée de Marimont, Belgium. We are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph it. Turning north we come to the young Giotto drawing by Joseph Tulinx. This is now in the collection of Museum Hof van Busleden, Belgium and we are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph this piece in their storage facility. Returning to the centre of the nave we find Torments of Cain by Louis Jehot. This is a model of the copy in the garden of the Palace of the Academies Brussels, and we are grateful to them for allowing us to photograph it. And finally for this update, another billboard image, this time of binding Mazepa to a horse by Giuseppe Pirotti. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.